preparing my coffee and um, getting ready to um, just start my day and uh, again uh, I've just been super busy lately with um, a house full of uh, kids <laughs> and enjoying it having a, a great time look see this is like sleepless nights uh, you know waking up every uh, three hours you know helping um, Lauren get the baby fed uh, again you'll see the baby very soon hey from UK how you doing um, we're gonna do a reveal of of the baby's um, name I say the baby's name and um, you'll be able to to see her we're actually getting ready to do a, a newborn shoot a photo shoot very soon and that uh, that'll probably happen in a couple days maybe like probably like next week actually but um, yeah I was just um, wanted to talk about some of the things that I've been into lately and things that I've been doing since we've had some downtime um, I don't know if you guys know you know welcome to my page my name's Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys Did you see that? There's, there's some geese <laughs> There's some geese flying around here. I'm in Vegas right now, live from Las Vegas, and um, uh, you can. These are my two white rose bushes behind me, um, and this is my uh, Twitch page. So uh, there's going to be different topics and things that I'm going to talk about. Um, some of them are going to be maybe like investing, you know, science, technology. I don't know if you guys know. I'm really into uh lately i've been getting into um like being back home uh putting on that covid 20 and you know surfing the internet and surfing uh <laughs> twitter and and i kind of got caught up into the cryptocurrency world uh which is what i wanted to talk to to you guys about today and learned a lot about it i was doing a lot of investing and stuff like that you know some stuff in the stock market but I uh, really got into crypto we got into crypto about four I think it was like maybe four years ago when everything had first started um, when it came to crypto we were um, just kind of it was new and, and it was something exciting and we didn't know what it was about so I educated myself on it and I learned more about it and that's what I wanted to talk to today um, but you know um, I was watching the other day on Ellen, uh, she, she had Mark Cuban on, and I thought it was really interesting, and he actually really um, explained, you know, what it really was, like, what is, what is it all about, like, what is, what is cryptocurrency, and, and, and he defined it perfectly, and, and one was, you know, what is Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin, from my understanding, is basically a commodity, it's like gold, so it's essentially um, the foundation of you know what cryptocurrency is based on and then um, there's uh, obviously the meme coins you see the doge doge we call it we make fun of it called doggy coin uh, those <laughs> there's a lot of followers in the doggy the doggy coin world doja coin he called it doja I call it doge whatever um, and but essentially what those are meme coins you got to look at them almost as like collectibles and that's why they were doing a lot of these NFTs. Everybody been hearing like, what is an NFT, a non-fungible token? What, what is that exactly? And so uh, non-fungible tokens are based on a lot of these. This is from my understanding, I could be wrong, but they're based on the, the meme coins. And, um, and then there's obviously the blockchain, which is the Ethereum's and uh, one that I'm really into and I love, which is called Cardano. And like I say, uh, we're invested in some of these coins and things out there and if you're if you want to invest please do your due diligence I've, I've seen so many of these like YouTube pages and, and these like uh, channels where people are just like they're just making sure they put the disclaimer up there because like look you do your own investing you do what you want to do and make sure you risk what you want to lose um, but you know I think what was really cool about the um, the cryptocurrency world is that 
we are, I think we're on the, the precipice of a, um, a new beginning. Uh, things are changing as far as like, um, the financing and or the money and, and just essentially the um, you know the foundation of, of currency uh, worldwide and uh, one of the things I loved about Cardano if I'm boring you guys you know let me know and I'll get the hell out <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm and listen if, if, if I'm saying something wrong or I don't know something you guys could correct me all you want okay I'm reading your messages as we're going through uh, what's up Germany <laughs> um, yeah I'm still a singer, but listen, um, what I'm loving about um, Cardano, I, I just don't know if you guys just uh, saw, um, but they just recently integrated um, their blockchain um, into Ethiopia, which I thought was, uh, so I think that they're gonna really help the economy over there with their blockchain. And I thought that was really, really cool, um, you know, that they could be able to help certain countries um, just, kind of stabilize their economy and help them grow and I thought that that was really cool so that's why I liked Cardano but going back to the meme coins um, and if you saw my Twitter uh, today you'll see that I uh, was talking about SHIB and that's a coin that we invested in and I guess they're calling SHIB the uh, uh, the Doja killer <laughs> there's like a meme out there where basically there's like this Grim Reaper knocking on all the doors and then eventually like and then uh, they're saying like Doge is next. And, uh, but today they did this thing called ShipSwap. And so ShipSwap basically um, can, um, use, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Ship, ShipSwap can um, help you purchase it easier and have a place where you can uh, stake your coins, I believe. That's what they're calling it. <laughs> you watching from Japan? What's up, Japan? How you doing? <laughs> So here's what it is. Uh, um, the meme coins are kind of like collectibles. That's how Mark Cuban was explaining it. So I'm a collector. I have a couple of comic books that I love. I have a number one Spider-Man um, that was actually signed by uh, Stan Lee. And you know, rest, uh, rest in peace, Stan Lee. Um, and we worked with him on the Backstreet Boys uh, comic, uh, the Backstreet Project. And I got about six of those that he signed as well. Um, and, but as a collector, as someone who likes to collect things, I used to collect trading cards. I used to collect, you know, I had one of my favorite cards was, uh, you know, um, I, I can't, I used to put, collect trading cards of, from NFL and then also, um, baseball collector. Anyways, I love that. So that's essentially what, um, the meme coins are. So they have like these pictures and stuff like that and like things so you're collecting these coins and like you know it's just no different than a trading card or a comic book and so that's kind of like why I really like it because it has that aspect but then there's a value to each one of those coins that someone else might want to watch so if you hold it for a long time but we're excited because uh, SHIB just announced that uh, they're doing the SHIB swap today so you can say that I'm a part of the SHIB family I'm also a part of the Safe Moon family um, I got in on that too. Um, also got into, um, well Cardano was more of like the, the blockchain, so I loved that. And uh, what else? What was it like? It was, um, I think it was four years ago, I got, we got on Ethereum. And then it was so scary because people didn't know what the hell it was. So we sold it all. <laughs> now it's like crazy. It's like trading at like two thousand, some twenty seven hundred dollars. I'm like, huh? It's like one of those Bitcoin people. Is I saw this um, this tweet. This guy was like, you guys got to take this, this whole world, this whole cryptocurrency world, is so freaking funny. It's like hilarious. I feel like there's a fan base for each one of these coins, and they're ferociously defending their coins. Um, and it, it's just so funny, like how, how defensive these people are. And there's like these communities of people and they're like, welcome to the family, Nick, you know, like, and like, glad you're here and all this stuff. And so, um, it's just really cool. And I think it's a, it's a really fun, it's a fun, uh, thing to be a part of. And, you know, um, 
if it helps to change the world for the better, um, you know, especially in other countries, that'll be really cool. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of have some coffee with you guys this morning. Uh, talk some, <laughs> talk some stupid, what's up Mexico? Hey Poland. Hi. And I told you, I said I was going to be on, I was going to be on Twitch a lot more. Oh man, this is really good coffee. But, um, I just wanted to kind of shoot the shizzy this morning with you guys. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. We're getting ready to uh, start recording some music. Um, we're getting ready to do a Christmas album. The Backstreet Boys are going to do a Christmas album. So I, unfortunately, got to take off to um, uh, go record with the boys. I can say fortunately, unfortunately, because I got to leave um, you know, so early with them. Baby, my baby being born here so um, she's now nine days old but yeah we're getting ready to, to do Christmas album I'm gonna be doing recording in the studio we're gonna be doing b-roll footage and yeah it's gonna be um, that's what this year is gonna be for us and we look forward to getting back out on tour with you guys uh, we miss you so much um, I love you I saw some um, I'm gonna call out somebody in particular, one of our fans. Um, I saw this morning, Lori. Um, why, why you gotta say goodbye? Why are you saying goodbye? You know I love you. you. Know I love all of our fans. There's no need to leave, cause we're coming back again. But I'm calling you out. Don't you go nowhere. <laughs> but I just wanted to say, have a really great day. Um, hopefully that was a little education from the cryptocurrency stand point of thing Bitcoin yeah Bitcoin I'm gonna answer some questions right now um, don't go anywhere do you like my rose bushes do you like them they're blooming right now they're blooming they're white look at these white roses it's beautiful huh and do you hear do you guys actually hear the birds outside it's actually really beautiful here in in Las Vegas in Las Vegas in Nevada I think um, I never knew that I would actually really fall in love with the city as much as I have with um, with uh, Las Vegas and uh, the state of Nevada. Um, it's just really, I had one of my friends tell me one time when I moved here, he's, um, his name is John, he said, you know, there's something magical about the desert and and I, I was like, you're right. You know, obviously I love the ocean and I'm always going to be a Florida boy and oh, I'll be back in Florida again really soon. but. Um, I'm gonna answer some questions before I go. Um, this, let's see, the Wyland Foundation is going so fast. Dude, I got this like, whole streamer setup thing. I got like a little light, it's like a little box light and like my camera and everything. So it's really crazy. Uh, DNA Tour, yes, DNA Tour is gonna still go on. Are you still playing Overwatch? Um, I'm gonna start getting back into playing some games I'm, and Overwatch will be one of them. I'm not very inter interested in cryptocurrency. Yeah, again, like, listen, with cryptocurrency, it's not necessarily for me about, it's like, yeah, you can invest in it and sit on it and maybe make some money, you know, and, and you just always risk what you're willing to lose, you know, um, but it's just about collecting it and being a part of a, like, a cool community of things that are going on. So here's to the SHIB army today. SHIB SWAT, baby. Um, mm. Oh, love from Nick's Justice League. I love you guys, and I just totally love the artwork on that. I think we need to do some, like, um, I think we need to do some, like, I've seen your merchandise. I want some of the merchandise. How about that? I want some of the Justice League merchandise. Love it. Yes. Yes, girl. How's Lauren doing? She's doing uh, much better. Um, she had a cesarean, so the, the um, it was the second cesarean, so it's, it takes a little bit longer to heal from it, so she's in a lot of pain right now, but thank you for asking. Um, love, cappuccino. Uh, hi from Brazil. What's up, Brazil? <gasps> UK, UK, UK all the way. Mm. What's your, what is your name? Uh, my name's Nick. <laughs> um hi guys hi guys yeah so I'm just gonna let you know like that's what I'm gonna go topic by topic 
this, you'll be able to probably click on the bottom. This this one was basically um, science and technology. I kind of put it into that world, science and technology. So I'm um, also going to do some stuff in the fitness world as well. I love, obviously, working out now. I'm going to have a little bit more time. Um, I'm going to have to get, like, some help around the house. So we're going to get a nanny to help us because we got three kids. So that way um, I could kind of hit the gym a little bit more. And so Lauren, when she heals up, can uh, get in the gym too. Baby. Baby girl's doing very well. Um, she's adorable. She has blonde hair, almost like Odin's color. That's all I'm gonna say. It's so cute. Um, missing you. Good morning, Nick. Hello. How you doing? Costa Rica. Did I say Costa Rica? Um, Philippines. I love you in the Philippines. Uh, Germany. What's up? Hi from Bella. Did you read? How's my coffee? How do I make my coffee? That's it. All right, that's a good way to end this right now. So here's how I make my coffee. We're using oat milk now. Uh, we're using um, Oatly. I'm sure everyone knows about Oatly. And um, I basically take that, I froth it in this like little machine, and then um, I pour like two stevias in it. I love stevia as a sugar replacement. And then I put some stevia in it, and then I use the uh, the beans in the machine and then basically I put the, the stevia in the froth and then I do the coffee in the uh, coffee machine and I basically go extra strong and um, and then I it's like so strong it's bitter but then I pour it in and then let it kind of settle and then there you go I have my coffee so stay tuned on twitch for some more fun and different subjects from me. Uh, we're just gonna be, it's gonna be all sorts of things and all different aspects of my life, but obviously we're gonna integrate. Oh, one last thing too. I definitely, once things kinda get going, once I'm done recording the album with the boys, um, I'm gonna set up a live acoustic concert only from my Twitch page. Um, probably like maybe 10 songs. Something like if you guys ever came to the Backstreet Boys show and we did the um, maybe like the, the pre-fan events and stuff like that. Um, something like that, but maybe a little bit more elaborate. Maybe more like one guitar player and, um, you know, maybe a bass player, a little drummer or something like that. But just kind of like a really cool um, performance that you'll only, if you're a subscriber for my Twitch page, you'll be able to see it. And I'll perform a new song that I want to release first, and then I'll perform 80s movie as well. But you guys have a very great Friday, and stay tuned. Subscribe, love ya.